Chavez Crew, boy. Y'all know what it is. Baby Soda Beast, tune in to Chavez Crew Productions, man. Y'all support your local artists, man. We turned up long. We ready to do your filming. Get up out of there. Oh yeah, man. All right. I know it's there, man. Oh, it's no black shit. Let's be net being slip. GP Lay. Baby Drake, knock a fuck nigga melon off. Get it poppin' broad day like telling off. He better crib, tell the truth, I ain't feeling dog. Make one wrong false move, get his whole block knocked down. I just came back from Cali, 30 plus on a pound. But tell the truth, I've been looking for a good price on the brown. Real a daddy, he in a pickle jar. Till they let him out. Real solid nigga, conscious body, he won't make a sound. Ran it up, up off the floor, count the money off the ground. Never known to trust a hoe, I turn that pussy down. Now I'm lying, cause them freak of hoes keep a nigga smiling. I drop water in my mouth, bite that pussy, make me drown. Pop a perk, then the nigga. Turn to a coochie scout Hell yeah, I like your coochie But I really love your mouth We ain't even have a house Fuck a home, mama house Bitch, I think I'm Nick Bean I ain't never chasing clout A really slick reincarnated With diamonds in his mouth In the hood playing possum Get your puss half around This is why I sell to a hoe Come and wipe me down But I ain't cuffin' now hoe Cause she can't even turn her out Still fuckin' with my ex, bitch Cause she'll buy me out Always ball her up And then I beat her pussy down But that little hoe that be crabbing So I keep her half around Any nigga tryna reach Gleez Tell him keep clout I drove all the way to Cali, then I passed out on a mountain Two bands, twenty bands, came back with forty thousand Then I ran up on the plug twice, left his ass pound Had to get my mind right, they say I left it in confined Cause I got tired of hitting licks, and I got tired of hitting signs But slick die, I lost my mind, money come to me, I find Say he jumped up in that water, I be deep sea diving He told me leave the pole in the car, I say nigga you lying Niggas acting like they know me, give me police vibes I been on the same shit since I went Levi's Chop a tall and little butter when it's standing knee high Love fuck up my little girl Against a bitch, she a G-Shine For my crib, bitch, good, make her throw peace signs But I'm fucked up by the bitch with a beam on the nine Call her hoe, that's a raven, why she tryna read my mind If she keep that shit trill, I'ma be there every time Alright y'all, we got another episode in the books, man. We got my guy here. Why don't you get introduced to everybody on the channel, bro? Make it so the bleach. AKA Harrisburg, dope boy, man. What the fuck going on, man? Alright, where you from, bro? Tampa, Florida. East Tampa. Okay. I like to say that a couple times because Tampa is a lot of shit going on from a lot of parts. East Tampa, we real solid. Yeah. Money, you know what I'm saying? So East Tampa? Yeah, East Tampa. So what's the difference between East Tampa and the rest of Tampa? It's all the same? Or a lot of cluck shit. Yeah. A lot of... A lot of cluck shit. I ain't really like no gang shit like that, but just my side, I like to say where I'm at. We get money over there. And our side, you're going through a lot of bullshit, so. Yeah. How long you been doing music? Like, good two years, year and a half. Okay. What made you want to start? Well, really, uh, my brother died. His biggest soda slip, he died, and I just been watching him. He ain't never did no music video, no none of that. So I was like, I was going to pick it up. It was fun, always, rapping around the hood, shit like that. Start taking shit after he died, though. Yeah, so he got kind of gave you the motivation when he passed away to go ahead and start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said he never had no visuals or nothing. He ain't had a visual, no, and he ain't never made a art cover, no none of that. Yeah, nothing. So you, you feel? Only thing is, like I ain't trying to like speak. I don't think Bro even got his name official, like you know what I'm saying. Be speaking real, but yeah. So it made you want to take it and, and run with yeah, it. Yeah, man, like, damn, you ain't never had no video. Like, not saying that he didn't, because he just started two hours before, but. Okay. I was like, damn, I might as well keep shit going. He ain't never did it. I got the chance to do it. Might as well. Yeah. So how you feel about investing in yourself as an artist, man? I'm big on it. Now, when I first started, I'm going to keep it real. When I first started, I ain't even, like, going to the club, really, like, even if they was paying me a certain amount, I was like, nah, but. This type of crap, like, you have to put money in it. If not, ain't nobody gonna see it. Yeah. Nobody gonna hear you see it, nobody to none of So what you, what you working on right now? Latest uh, single just dropped, Mellow. Mm -hmm. Y'all go everywhere, well, Apple, iTunes, you feel me? But the latest thing I'm doing now is my project, Hillsborough Dope Boy. First project, first mixtape. Got no features on it right now. Not thinking about putting no features on the mixtape at all, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna do some big features coming up. So why, why you decide not to have any features on the mixtape? I first started, I ain't want to be like, I had a thing coming, like, I ain't want to take nobody else, like, somebody putting me on or yeah. 
dick riding or using their way to get on. So, but then I realized like that's not really what's going on. This is real business. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. But my first minute say I just want to be all me. Listen to me. Everything you can't say. Everything in my style, just freestyle my beat. It don't matter. Everything me on that one. So if you had to describe yourself as an artist in one word, what would it be? Developing. Yeah. Developing. So, so you feel like you just developing as an artist as you go right now? Growing. I'm still developing as a man to be for real with you. You want me? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, like, that's that's what's up though. I ain't even. I ain't gonna say it. I'm just out here like yeah. Any nigga can put vocals on the track. Yeah. I'm still developing the business side and friendly, being friendly with people and stuff like that. So is that is that that like a, a difficult thing for you? Friendly, yeah, cause as well like we grew up, ain't nobody like people friendly. If you know where they from, you know they from your side, but. Being in the music industry, being friendly, I ain't never really was too good having jobs. I wasn't good in school. I like being by myself. Yeah. I don't really like doing, I don't do good when I have to depend on working with other people. Yeah. So, nah, that's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> so you feel like the music game that helped you a little bit with that? Like as far oh, as yeah, socializing hell, and dealing with hell folks? Hell yeah, like I'll be, because on Instagram, I never used to watch nigga shit or like artist stuff and all. Now on my Instagram, I follow a number of music people. I'll be trying to interact, you know what I'm saying, shit like that, but it definitely helped, because without it, I wouldn't even be looking, man, shit, I don't give a fuck what you got going on, music, you get my fuck you, <laughs> So when you go in the studio, uh, you freestyle or write? I do a, like, it's different, how I'm feeling. Never going to say that I don't write, because I end up writing four bars or eight bars, get me started, or I just write the hook, yeah. and then after that, I go and punch in, get high, baby, be sober, just, it all depends on how I'm feeling. Yeah, it's just. Anytime I get angry though, mm -hmm. nigga, we gonna, gonna write some shit. I ain't gonna lie. He ain't freestyling off no just. Oh, I'm mad freestyling, but high, having fun with niggas in the studio laughing. Yeah, punch me in. Come on. Yeah. What y'all feeling today? Shit like that. You feel me? But. No. So what's your favorite spot to record that out there in town? Glass House. Yeah. Glass House, Tampa, Florida. What is it about Glass House that that you just fuck with? My dog be money. We just got a chemistry. Like he'll let me know. Like okay. It ain't always about the money, like I said, but it is. He'll let me know, like, all right, bro, like, I'm recording you for this shit, but I ain't gonna let you just go ahead and put on no bullshit. When I first started rapping, it was me, like, going off topic, not doing hooks at all. He had to sit me down, like, look, some of these songs, you might want to just make a song about this, stay on topic. Yeah. Put a hook on this song sometimes. Even though I wasn't trying to hear it, he was always the one giving me that little extra. Be money, definitely. Glass house. Y'all go to town for y'all check in with my boy. Yeah. So you felt like he helped you develop as an artist with your craft and your sound? Yeah, I'll go to any other studio. Just something about like, it could be his equipment. It could really be that, you know what I'm saying? But I go somewhere else, I just want to be satisfied when I leave. Yeah. I leave, be money. Even if I pay for a five hour session, 10 hour session, I don't get what I had to get done. Whatever I got done was, oh yeah, we rocking with every time. Never have nothing, never. Had a bad time, glass out, <laughs> yep. And you let you, you know what I'm saying, smoking that. Some studios be tripping on that. Yeah. I think what? that's really what it is. You <laughs> <laughs> like smoking the ball. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> What's the hardest thing you've ever had to go through? Getting everybody, getting my little people I call support me or like my family to come out to a show or come out to a video. Yeah. That's like the hardest shit, I ain't gonna lie. That's the hardest thing. Niggas said you with the dog, they got to work and they got to feed their dead dog when it's time for a show or some shit. <laughs> you know I mean? So I know shit, I know everybody got a little side of click, but I know they be going through the same shit. It ain't always, yo, that shit hard. Rounding yeah. them niggas up. So you feel like the, getting some support from your family is, is, and the people that you know is, is, is I get, hard? Or? I get the, the virtual support on my phone, Instagram, but I need that. I need your help. I yeah. need that. I need your help. I need the. I need to touch it, my nigga. You need yeah. to be here with me on the show, rocking out. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. ain't no pressure though. I fuck with everybody. Everybody got their own little time and preference. Yeah. So, will you be performing at out there? I perform like down the airway, Florida, Miami, Orlando. I my homeboy had a show in Tallahassee. I did a little performance with him in Tallahassee, but Miami, Orlando, Broward, Broward, and Miami, kind of the same damn yeah. thing. Yeah. Tampa, of course, I did almost every club, strip club in the city. So. Mm -hmm. St. Pete, Clearwater, ripped that shit up a few times. So, yo. What do you think differentiates Tampa from uh, the other cities in Florida? I had another artist from Tampa I asked that See, question. See, it depends if you rapping like 
it depends your job. Like how you, it depends how you come out. But I say one thing in Tampa, it don't matter what it is. Goddamn, the rapper want to be the rapper. The cameraman want to be the rapper. <laughs> the nigga in the studio want to be the rapper. These niggas want to be famous in Tampa. Boy, it's about the clock right now. It don't matter what it is. It's really like a competition with the fucking with everybody. Shit. <laughs> now that you said it, I was like, wow. I just thought about it. Damn, everybody want to be famous. That's what it is. Everybody want to be famous, man. It don't matter what it is. You got to like everybody clout chasing. Everybody. Everybody wants something. They want to be known. It don't matter for what. So you got to think about it. You like, you doing yourself this one way. You got, I ain't going to say on my personal shit, because I got my own little personal cameraman. We locked in. Yeah. You have a cameraman saying, you might want to do it this way. This ain't, I'm the rapper. Then you got a nigga, the, the promoter telling you this way, this way, man, I'm the rapper, man. We do, we just come to rap. All the other shit, y'all, you want to do that, that y'all do y'all shit, man. Leave the rapper to the rapper, man. Shit. And that's exactly what it is, though. He <laughs> said, so leave the rapper to the rapper. Leave the rapper to the rappers, man. <laughs> Real shit. So who you looking to get some features with? Uh, right now, the one biggest goal out of me rapping period is either Rod Wave or NBA Young Boy just because I was really listening to them the whole time. I ain't gonna say they're my favorite rappers, but yeah. When Rod Wave, he from Thirty Minutes where I'm from, St. Pete, even from Tampa. Yeah, facts. And NBA Young Boy, I just really ain't something about that nigga. That nigga really lyrical. I fuck with him. He like a gangster lyricist, like you know what I'm saying. He like yeah. a gangster poet. Fuck with this fuck shit. With that type of He's shit, a gangster poet. Yeah, gangster yeah. poet. Yeah. Them the like the gold type of shit. Then like one who I know I can I got the bad for probably reach up. Probably like Big 30, Pooh Shice. Okay. I fuck with their movement. I like the way they move. Yeah, he booming right now. I like their sound. I like everything about them boys. So, yeah, I fuck them boys. Yeah. So, uh, you independent? All the way independent. Yeah. Everything. What been the most, uh, or the biggest obstacles you know had being independent? Pursuing this rap career? Ain't been too many. No, I, the biggest thing I had to really sit down and like, it's like, all you got to do this is getting my rap name, getting my everything, owning your music, owning everything, because that's a big part. It's a lot of rappers right now, big off the game, probably still don't own their shit. Some nigga probably been bought their shit up. That's the, like I said, the business part. So, yeah, that's what it is. So, the, the business aspect of it? Business. I'm trying to be the best business man, then a the rapper. That's what it is. Now, I ain't even trying to be the best rapper no more. I want to be the best business man, then a the rapper. Yeah. If it's a business rapper, with Beyond niggas be like, oh, he made gangster music. I'm gonna start making business music. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit. Fuck that. Is it the uh, rappers you look up to as far as that business acting? Uh, it's the way you say that. I don't look up to no rapper, but it's like, okay, I'm gonna give you a prime example. Plies. He got a very, very per his business shit is perfect. Yeah. Perfect. I love the way that man works, but. As a person, I don't really, I can't really say that. But, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But so, as far as the business aspect. Business right? aspect, boy, you handle your business. Oh, no, I, if you really want to put it, 6 9 Yeah. 6 9 that boy handled up. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. Now, he's yeah. snitching all that shit. Hey, listen, he's a rapper <laughs> at the end of the day. He signed up to rap on a microphone. You don't sell dope off a microphone. You don't go, he's a rapper, so y'all can't even put that shit. A lot of these niggas snitching, man, he be the only one who got caught. Came out with it. Yeah. So, Hey, that's me, he gangsta as hell. Shit. And he let y'all boys know what it is. I'm telling him, I told him, I tell him, yo. What the fuck? <laughs> real shit, though. Yeah, so, bro. like, the real, he the real gangsta. I ain't saying from street wise, but he a real, he man enough to do it. He man up, he stood on 10 toes, and he snitched. Yeah. Let y'all know what it is. I'm not saying I'm with him, I'm not saying I'm for it. <laughs> but at the end of the day, he did it at his manly choice. So, yeah. He got some business. That's the business, man. But he ain't on no 6 9 shit. I ain't yeah. trying that I'm going to tell him now. Yeah, so. yeah. Like I said at the beginning, I ain't even in no gang, so we ain't even going to put that, you feel me? So, yeah, very independent. Yeah. Everything independent. So, how do you think Tampa influenced you as far as your sound goes, man? As my sound, only thing that can sound from Tampa is the, probably the way I talk for real. When I record, nobody ever, like, if I send my music out to a producer from Hill, where they, they'll be like, damn, where you from? They'll never be like, oh, you from Florida, none of that. People around me just know because I'll say some shit that's re like, relevant to my city. Yeah. So that's probably why. But other than that, now nah, you don't even know if you tell. Probably I say that. So, so how you how you feel about the uh, the music scene in Florida? Period, though. Right now, Florida. Well, from five years ago, since I say Kodak, man, we been stepping. Shit, we're hot right now. I ain't gonna lie, stepping. Yeah. Is there any artists that you really want to work with out of Florida? Like a, besides, besides Kodak? Yeah, besides Kodak, yeah. 
pellet plugs, but I don't, I don't want the plugs. But this is because he's in business, like I said, he had no business. Yeah. Probably Jack Boy, Kodak. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. So that's it. That's it, man. I ain't really tripping on nobody in Florida right now. I, I was listening to it every day, but ain't nobody in the back of my head. I'm like, I got to go get this feature. Uh, yeah. No. That nigga chaotic. Chaotic 305. Oh, yeah, yeah. I fuck with that, that nigga, that nigga bad, man. <laughs> that nigga bad, yeah. Hey, it's I'll do a song with that nigga. Though. You see this shit? Yeah, fuck with him. I'll do a song with that nigga. Though. Out of four, the only one, too. Yeah. Free Kodak, shout out to Jack Boy, but chaotic. Yeah. I ain't disrespecting nobody I know who rap and Florida won't cool with, but chaotic. That yeah. nigga, man. Hey, that boy social media game on point. That nigga though. pressure. Yeah. Business. That nigga yeah. pressure, man. Yeah, he on his business, though. That nigga pressure. I get credit with credit. Yeah, man. shout out to him. So, uh, you mix say, what's your favorite joint off of you? Right now, i say Bad Again. Mm. That's a song I kind of made, like, you know how people make pain songs? I can't never, never make no pain songs. So that was a song I made, like, i say, in my feelings about some money that I ever made a song to make me listen to it and make me go some more, get more money, like a motivation song to myself. A lot of people be like, man, I done ran it up to PV Long Way, Eminem, Blue Eminem, I done ran it up to motherfucking... School to street out of yell. I done ran it up in my own song. Bag in. It's out right now. And then do no visual yet, but I ain't even promote the song that much. Yeah. Like I said, I, it's a personal thing for me. But, yeah, that made me give some money. Made me, and I listened to it. It's like, yeah, man, I got to handle up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. So, what inspired you to make it? What inspired me to make it? Now, I think that was like the very first beat I actually bought. Okay. So I like, I paid my actual money. You know how producers sing shit all day and niggas done put put shit on wax and don't pay the producer. Yeah. Shit like that. So it was like one of them songs I already had in my mind. I hit the producer like, look, I got this certain amount of money. Like, Fuck, what you got going on? Make me some hard shit. If you if it's if I gotta pay for five beats and you only make me one, that's what it is. I need some real gangster shit. And that's what it was. And I, I handle it right now. Yeah. So Shout yeah. out to my producers too. Just dope. Ah, just joke. Mm. Just joke. He made that beat. Fuck that boy. Pressure. So is he like the, the main producer you work with? Mm, he just the main producer I had in my music. That's mm -hmm. already dropped. Producer I'm working with now, he from overseas. I'm not letting y'all know him yet. Yeah. To the music guy. I don't need that. <laughs> Shout out to Joe. We mm -hmm, keeping that down now. So, so what you look for on the beat when you searching? Anything A lot of bass. Yeah. A lot of bass. I really like bass. Cause in the car, I'm gonna turn it up. Yeah. Turn it all the way up. I like when I drive, I like to feel myself when I drive, like bounce in the car. Yeah, I don't yeah. like to drive, I'm bouncing on the interstate. That makes <laughs> word, bouncing. So you I bounce. like to make you know, all that bass in there. Let me feel that shit in my back. Oh, shit. That type of shit. Okay, yeah, we, me and her. Have a female in that bitch, turn it all the way up. You know what it is. She in that bitch, damn. Bouncing. My car got my shit, I got my little shit going on. So yeah. I had my shit out. So, so what's the main thing you want your fans to know about you? To know about me? I ain't gonna fake nothing. I ain't gonna fake nothing at all. If I got it, I got it. If I don't, I ain't gonna say I ain't rapping about the shit I ain't got. If I had it, I got it. But even if I had it, I ain't rapping about that shit either. I'm rather than rapping about the shit I got. So, no capping and rapping. I'm very, and I ain't no robot ass nigga. I ain't, I'm very to me. Ain't nobody, nobody on my mind. Ain't nobody, uh, ain't nobody tell me what to do. Yeah. I ain't following no niggas none of that. <laughs> Y'all niggas need to know that right now. I ain't following nan nigga. Nan bitch, nan nigga. None of that. <laughs> <Really is. laughs> Say ain't following no goddamn buddy. I ain't following nobody for real. So I ain't worried about hanging out with nobody. Like I said, I ain't even worried about doing no features. When I do a feature with no smile, I ain't even gonna take a picture with the nigga. Straight work. If we ain't doing no visual visual, yeah. It is what it is. Y'all ain't gonna know about it. It'll be straight work. I ain't really big on that shit. Alright, so what we got looking forward to in uh, 2021, bro? 2021, souped up ass visuals. I'm gonna do way more interviews. I'm gonna start doing shit like I'm gonna start being a real rapper, like doing the shit rappers do. Yeah. Instead of just going to the studio every day and trying to get the little shows around my city, I'm gonna start turning down the little money and start chasing the dream. Yeah. I ain't never chased the dream, so. That sound weird as hell, but, no, but I'm, I'm gonna turn down saying. a little money and chase the dream this time, this year. Yeah. And really stay focused. I'm gonna be focused. So yeah, man, y'all see. <laughs> what the fuck going on, man? Hills, bro, dope boy. First project ever coming out. No features on that motherfucker. Y'all can find all my music right now. Spotify, 
YouTube for my visuals, all that shit. Instagram, Bacon Soda Beach 32. My new page, they hacked me fucking full time. <laughs> Everybody, y'all see what's going on in the city when y'all watch this. Y'all niggas been hacking me, man. God damn, I couldn't get a break. Yeah. They been hacking my page, but they can't hack the bank account, dude. I don't yeah. know. They still got them thigh pads and shit. <laughs> they, they, mean, they need to be hacking. That's what they need to hack. Should have hacked some famous nigga shit. Yeah. Got some money like fucking Floyd Mayweather and some shit. That's yeah. all they did. Hack this shit and put on everybody need to cash out me a dollar. Why well, you think you get a hack, bro? I know it is, man. It's a slimy bitch, slimy nigga on from the trail, <laughs> man. Nah, I'm gonna keep it real though, okay. I've been doing some little viral shit with some females. I ain't gonna lie, my close friends. They've been the Instagram been telling me on my first page, but the last couple of pages I've been to straight music. I ain't even posting me smoking nothing crazy. Still getting on my ass hacking me. Then the crazy shit, why they hacking me? They t I get an email. This number hacking you on this from this location. All the numbers I've been tracking. Y'all don't think I ain't tracking your ass now. Man. <laughs> don't think that. Now shit ain't sweet. Yeah. On your ass now. I ain't worried about that shit. I ain't worried about Instagram like that. Yeah. I'm a real big fan of person. I like to chill in in person. So when they act me shit on Instagram, one well, now I just got some more money. Yeah. Now I'm ready to spaz on the ass. Oh, it turned it up. See me? So 2021, man. Y'all know what it is, man. They can sort of be his bro, do but. All hustle, no luck shit, man. All right. All right, bro. East. Well, we're going to get up out of here, man. I appreciate you coming through. Anything you want to say before you get up out of here? Shout out to the East. Rest in peace, Slick. GP, Nick, Dean, Lady. Free my daddy. Yo. And that's how it is, man. All right, appreciate you. <laughs> that's Chavez crew, boy.